DLP incident receiver is a focal point that archives the offending data violating the DLP policies configured by organization's DLP admin. The user connects to the closest ZIA service edge and attempts to send the data. ZIA public service edge detects the DLP violation based on the configured DLP policy and forwards the traffic to the public service edge for ICAP communication. ZIA Public Service Edge sends the information about the DLP policy violation including the evidence file and the JSON containing the metadata to the incident receiver using secure ICAP. The network firewall must allow this communication. Incident receiver can run either on-prem or in cloud in AWS or Azure. In this video, I'll cover on-prem IR. So here's my Zscaler incident receiver. As you could see, it's running. And this is the organization's uh, storage. If I check this folder, you should see that there's nothing in there. And here is the inline DLP policy that I'll use for this demo. It's using the social security engine and it's pointing to my on-prem IR and I'm also configured for uh, receiving the notification. So this is the sample file that I use with 30 SSN. Here's my PDF file. And as you could see that I'm blocked uh, uploading this file as it's a violation to the compliance category for US SSN. And if I check I have received uh, the notification that this user uh, has triggered the violation and this was the DLP engine that was set to detect uh, more than two social security numbers whereas uh, the data that the user is trying to upload contains uh, 30 social security numbers. So if we go back and check this is what we have captured. There should be two files here. So this is the same as the PDF file, which we have seen here. And uh, the JSON file is the one that contains the metadata and uh, the trigger data. So as you could see, this is the metadata and the trigger data with these uh, 30 social security numbers. So to recap, what we have seen is that Zscaler incident receiver allows securely receiving information about the DLP policy violations, which can be used for further analysis and inspection. Note that the Zscaler incident receiver does not store any files locally and requires either organization storage server or cloud storage to store the metadata, the trigger data, and the evidence files. Hope you find the contents presented in this video useful. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.